Microsoft is about to make a major mistake and is going to rear its ugly head beginning on August the 2nd. I'll explain what's going on right after this. I sell network security software for a living. That is my primary occupation. And I spend a lot of time on the phone with system administrators. Some work for very large companies, very small companies, and everything you know in between. And this is going to be a really unhappy group of people starting on August the 2nd. You know why? Because Microsoft, God bless them, you know, they're, I think they're trying to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. These people, these system administrators work with the typically the Windows professional version, right? Now, why would a business want the pro version? What is it in, what is in it for them? Why would you want the pro version? Two major reasons. Number one, you gain the ability to join a domain with Windows 10 Pro. You also have the ability to manage the computer under what is called group policy. Group policy allows system administrators to set up certain rules as to what users on the computer can and cannot do. And it can get very, very granular. It gives, it gives you a lot of control as a system administrator. So what's Microsoft doing to break the trust? Oh, there are lots of other reasons you might want Windows 10, such as the ability to get up to two terabytes of RAM, trusted boot, Windows Store for Business, assigned asset access, Hyper-V, remote desktop, BitLocker, but uh, mainly it's going to be the joining a domain and also group policy. What's going on? Well, Microsoft, starting with the Windows 10 anniversary update, is going to prevent admins from pushing out, uh, to prevent them from applications such as the likes of Candy Crush Soda Saga onto their domain joined pro machines. Think about this for a second. Microsoft is going to circumvent system admins from making changes to group policy to prevent advertising or adware if you wish as well as certain Windows consumer experience applications such as certain game titles and more. This is a huge, huge violation of that trust between Microsoft and its users. Now, according to an article written by a Woody Leonard link in the description below, Microsoft is making changes to the Group Policy Editor, or GP Edit, that keep customers from disabling certain settings in the anniversary update. The first change involves the Windows 10 lock screen. In the normal course of events, the Windows 10 lock screen appears before the login. Right? The machine's locked. You go to unlock it, then you go to the login screen. Easy peasy. In Windows 10 Build 1511, you can turn off the lock screen in Windows Pro. And in Windows 10 Build 1607, due August the 2nd, that's the anniversary update, you cannot. So you must, cannot disable the lock screen. And if the lock screen is turned off, you could just go straight into your login, right? But with it on, Microsoft will show you advertising. Think about that. All these hundreds of users on your domain network coming back from the weekend or the next morning only to see advertising spotlight ads start showing up on their lock screen. Hey, try Office 365 for free for 30 days or what other advertisement you want. This is a professional application in the biz, you know, operating system in a business environment. You've paid for this puppy. And now you're going to, Microsoft is going to keep you as the system administrator from preventing these ads from showing up. That's pretty bad, but wait, it gets even worse. With the Windows 10 update, Windows, Pro, Windows 10 Pro users can no longer disable all apps from the Windows Store. So guess what? Those apps, you got to live with them, whatever those are going to be, coming down the pike, I should say. But you won't be able to disable them now. Won't be able to do that through group policy. Can't do it. 
Now let's talk about probably the biggest violation of trust that Microsoft could possibly do to their system administrators, to their users, when it comes to Windows 10 Professional. And that's called the Windows, Microsoft Consumer Experience. So this is some applications that Microsoft, at a time and date of their choosing, can download and install on your computer for you to improve your consumer experience. This can be disabled under Build 1511, but not, and here's the catch, not under the anniversary update. In other words, programs such as Candy Crush Soda Saga, Flipboard, Adobe Photoshop Express, iHeartRadio, US Today, Twitter, the official app, Microsoft's own live tiles for games such as Minecraft or Get Office and the Solitaire Collection will all get installed at a time and date of Microsoft choosing, and there's not a damn thing you, the system administrator, the owner of this thing, can do about it. Bottom line is, effective August the 2nd, Microsoft will push whatever crap where it damn well feels like with or without your approval. So bite the bullet and suck it up, sucker. This is the way it's going to be because we have to monetize the living crap out of Windows and we're going to do whatever shady, underhanded thing we need to do uh, that we consider necessary. Does it seem like I'm calling bullshit on Microsoft and I'm being overly harsh? You're talking to a Microsoft partner. You're talking to somebody who works in the world of the Microsoft ecosystem every day. You're talking to somebody who openly endorses their products. I cannot, in good faith, continue to endorse the way they are behaving and treating their customers. And I tell you, it's as epic for this one reason. These system administrators are going to be all kinds of pissed off over this thing, and they're going to talk, and they are going to think, and they are going to wonder, do we really need to stay in the Microsoft ecosystem? Is this getting so bad for Microsoft that we have lost our trust in them as a company? Should we seriously now begin exploring alternatives? Is this a good time to perhaps be a Linux developer and start thinking about serious business applications? Will this inspire companies such as Adobe, Intuit, and others to potentially port their software to the worlds of Linux if they know that indeed millions of system administrators are considering moving away from the Microsoft ecosystem, not because the product is bad, Windows 10's excellent. It's the company behind it that's beginning to really suck. I want to get your opinion in the comments down below. Bruce Naylor, take care.